So I've been thinking a lot about artists' journeys and how our journeys, the creative path is almost one of a pilgrimage. And I recently learned the difference between kind of a, just a regular journey and a pilgrimage. And the, the idea of a pilgrimage is that there's an expectation uh, that, that, that you, will be, you will learn important things th from strangers, uh, chance encounters. And, and I love that because that's certainly been the case for me um, over the years from the very beginning making art. I remember when I was making stained glass windows as like, I think I was 16 and I was working in this studio and I was really, I liked it cause it was just, it was really crafty, you know, cutting glass and fitting it together and soldering. It was kind of, it was a craft to me, but there was an artist that came by and did a presentation. Uh, his name was Narcissus Guagliata. And I, and I think I was like 15 years old and his work was an, was unlike anything I'd ever seen. And he, you know, he was, he was talking about, like we think of stained glass windows, you think of what we see, they're pretty traditional, right? You know, things we see in churches and the subject matter. And, but the, what he was doing was extraordinary. He was, he was like painting with glass. <laughs> he was um, talking about soul and, archetypes and and he did this really cool thing that I'd never seen done um, when you're building a stained glass window you build it flat because you have all these pieces and you kind of can't tell what it's going to look like because it's the light coming through the glass that makes it so powerful so when it's on a table you kind of hold up glass and you hope that it's going to work before you let it and put it all together but what he had was this easel that it was um, this big, huge like glass or plexiglass that came up like a glass door. And he would take the pieces of glass and he would, he would um, use beeswax and he would paint with it. Like he was painting before it was all put together. And that was just, that got me thinking about the fact that, you know, I might be making this little window, but it's really a painting that it really, you know, and, and seeing it vertically and moving things around. It was like the first time that I, I kind of got a glimpse into, into taking this whole thing further. This craft could be something so personal. So anyway, I just, um, I, I recently looked him up and he's full on, man. He's been, he's done churches and he teaches workshops and it was just so interesting you know and i i couldn't remember his name even um but i was thinking about stained glass and i was like who was that guy and i knew his name i remember his first name was Narcissa, so it led me back and uh these are the kind of people that that you meet that change everything for you so i'm curious right like who who have been the people you've met that have changed so much about your creative path and where you've ended up. I think it's really, really interesting and, and powerful and also really cool just to like consider it and think back how you are where you are now. Um, so let me know in the comments or let us know in the comments. This coming week, um, the podcast that's coming out, I'm talking about another person that uh, was a huge influence on my life and it wasn't so much of a stranger, but in many ways uh, Learning about his creativity. I when I got older and it was this person was my father Clifford Wilton. So uh, I dive into a lot of the things I learned from him uh, It's it's pretty cool. So check that out. That's coming out on Wednesday Anyway, I hope hope your day is going really really good and you're in the studio at least some of the day some part of the day Okay, thanks so much. All right. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.